Hi YouTube, welcome back to the A Plus Show. And today I just wanted to come and do a quick haul. Um, I got some things from Aldo. They're having an amazing sale. Like I just got them over on um, Saturday. No, Friday. And today is Monday. So they probably are having, still having the same sale. And I also went to Sephora and picked up an item. Fell in love with a new item for Matt. So, and I just want to show you what was on my nails. So, um, I'm going to start with the haul first, then I'll show you my nails. Okay, so first I'm going to start with, let's see, let's start with Sephora first. Okay, so I was looking, I've been looking for a, um, a liquid liner. Be so, move. Go get in the cage. Oh, that's sniffing. Go. Jesus. Okay, so I've been looking for a new liquid liner because Mary Kay no longer sells the liquid liner. And as you beauties may know, that was my favorite liquid liner. So I recently got something from, I believe it was Milani. Got a liquid liner from there. And okay, so yeah, it is Milani. It's the iTech Perfection Liquid Liner. Now, I did not get this from Sephora, even though I know I said I was starting with Sephora. But I wanted to show you just, it kind of reminds you of the N, the one by NYX that was very popular and things like that. So, I mean, it's fairly decent. I haven't worn it more than twice, if I've even worn it twice. So, um, I'm still trying to fill it out and see how it works for me. But when I went to Sephora, they had some um, of their liners on display. Now this isn't the one I wanted, but by accident the sales associate, she handed me this one and I bought it. And this one is called Black Lace. And this one is just jet black, but I wanted the one that was glittery. So I will be going back to get it. Here's the tip on here. I absolutely love the tip. It glides on like really, really easily. And it's waterproof. So there's the line. And if you give it a minute, it dries. And it's very difficult to get off. So, so I had a time trying to get this off of my hand. But yeah, there it is. And I did see, I just put it on and I did it like this and there, nothing. So it goes on, it glides on easily and it's definitely waterproof. So it's really going to last you all day. And beauties, I have been slacking on my retainers. But please give me some words of encouragement because I don't want to have to get braces again. But I really haven't had them in. And I think like when I got used to wearing them like I was supposed to, I was used to having them in. The minute like I went like almost a day without having them in. Now I'm used to not having them in. So now I just forget to put them in. Ugh, that sucks. But see my teeth? I love my teeth. As you beauties know, I had talked about a mini that I had got from Sephora when you know you can like get your reward points and you get like a, you get to pick a gift. And it was the Makeup Forever Professional um, HD Primer. Oh my gosh, I love this. So, I went ahead and bought the full bottle. This is like the largest bottle of primer I've ever had in, I think, my life. So, yeah. You squirt it out and it looks like that. And then you just blend it into your skin. And voila, it like disappears. It has a fragrancy smell to it. If that's the word, fragrancy. I might have just made that up. But it does smell good and it just it's very lightweight and it really helps my makeup, especially my concealers, glide on like really, really smoothly. And I absolutely love it. So this retails for like $30. So it's pretty pricey, but I feel like that's a lot of product and you only need a little bit of product to just really really make your look be amazing so let's see what does it claim to do it says HD primer is a light non greasy skin perfector that improves the skin's appearance and primes it for makeup application this 
micro perfecting primer smooths out the skin minimizing lines and pores and so forth so forth said some other stuff but they got some technical words and ingredients that I just really don't know about. So I'm not going to even try to murder those words. So then the next place that I went was MAC. And I got a lipstick because I did the whole recycling program. So I had like some containers or whatever that um, I've collected over the past few months. And I turned them in for a lipstick. And oh my gosh, beauties, like I don't care what anybody says. I am in love with the way this lipstick looks on me. I have never heard of it before. I've never as much as many videos as I watch and things like that. I've never heard no anyone speak of this lipstick. So, you know, I'm looking at stuff. I was like, okay, I got to pick one. A lot of these things I already have or just have had and don't like or just don't like, period. So, I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to get? Now, beauties, you know, I hate peachy colors. I hate peaches and corals and things like that. But I came across this one, I picked it up, swatched it out on my hand, and I instantly fell in love. It, I instantly fell in love, not on love. So I am wearing it now. It is called Sweet and Sour. It is a cream sheen, and this is what it looks like. Like, I was so infatuated with the way this looked when I swatched it out. Like, I just wanted to go somewhere later on that night just so I could wear it and just, you know, see what I could do with it. So, what I have done with it, I paired it with Naked Liner from MAC. So, that's what this looks like. And I just put it right here. And then a while back, I went to Sephora, and I love their um, lip glosses. And I got um, a gloss, Mirror Glossy Gloss in Candy Mix number 21. So that is what I'm wearing now on my lips. That is definitely going to be a favorite combina combination of mine. Okay, so the next store that I went to was Aldo, and I picked up a few accessories and two pairs of shoes. So, I picked up some of those, like, baby doll shoes. I don't have a lot of those shoes. I know they've been popular for a long, long time, but I have very um, thin ankles, and those things flap off my heels. I don't wear a lot of pumps either because I always tend to need something to go around my ankles. Unless I buy the shoe extremely small, then I run the risk of it, like, blistering my toes and things like that. But I didn't know these the stretchy ones, you know, were just, like, the answer for to that problem I didn't know so I saw these I thought they were cute um, I needed some little comfortable flat kind of semi dressy shoes for work so I decided to try them on and then I was like yeah those are fit perfectly because they're the stretchy kind so I picked these up aren't they like gorgeous I love the way that it's black and tan because therefore I can wear it with like you know light colors and dark colors as well I think it's more versatile than just being one or the other color. And I've already worn them. I couldn't wait. They were super comfortable. Absolutely. I'm just like so fabulous when I wear these shoes. The next shoe I picked up, I thought it was just like a real nice way for me to wear a like closed toe pump. Um, type of look like if I'm wearing some jeans or something but of course I don't wear too many pumps because they won't stay up on my ankles so these I just kind of thought they, they would like be so nice with skinny jeans and like a blazer or something like that like perfect for like date night or night just to have a few drinks with your girls so I got these and I can also wear these to work as well and they have like a pattern here on the black on the back I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up and then it zips up back here. So these shoes were like marked down and then they had an extra off. So they were like super affordable. I think these shoes were like $59.99 with like an extra 20 or 25% off, something like that. So I absolutely love them. My mom says they look cheap, but hey, they were kind of cheap. So hey, I don't care. 
One of the reasons I always stop by Aldo if I'm in, whenever I'm in the mall is because they always have amazing accessories and a lot of times they are like buy one get one free. So of course they were having a two for one sale. So I picked up these gold hoops, tear like teardrop hoops that my hair is just all connected to. So I picked those up. And in addition to those, I grabbed these. My nails can get out of the way. So I thought these were like super cute. Really, you know, dressy. And you can kind of like wear them if you're trying to dress down and, and kind of like dress up an outfit. I thought these earrings would be like perfect for that. Okay, so that's all for my haul. So now I'm going to show you what's on my nails really, really quick. It's nothing major. It's kind of toned down because I went with a very bright color. But right now I'm in the business of finding some real funky looking nail art. So if you beauties have any suggestions like on some sites on eBay or something like that, I could go to find some items. Please let me know. You can... Leave me a message here, send me a message on Instagram, send me a message on Facebook. It really doesn't matter. You can email me. I don't care. But I need some nail jewelry quickly. Okay. But in the meantime, between time, I don't know what these colors are. I don't have these colors. And of course, I always forget to get the name of colors. But um, I was inspired by somebody on Instagram. I don't really remember. So um, just some you know i love this color green i love that green family even though this is not mine and, and we just put different color stones on it incorporated like some blue and then i absolutely love this blue bow i call them gangster blue bows because they're always so difficult to come off when she puts them on and then i saw also on, i saw on pinterest some nails with kind of like this type of um fingernail polish on it so we use like two different types of glitter to achieve this look here. So one thing that I am happy about, even though my nails aren't as busy as I typically like to get them, but they are growing back long. So I'm absolutely like excited about that. And I'm so happy because I did not like them short. So thank you beauties for watching. Please make sure you follow me on Instagram. I am back into the gym. I'm back working out. So please help me to stay encouraged because if anybody knows you know when you start changing your eating habits and you know you have to incorporate diet and exercise or clean eating and things like that it's really really challenging so as much motivation as I can get as much motivation as I can give hey let's just spread that love and if you haven't go to my Facebook page like my Facebook page I am going to be doing a giveaway just solely on the Facebook page really really soon it's going to be to a makeup store so um, I'm not sure when so really what I want to do is just wake up one day and say hey I'm going to give a $25 Mac gift card to the first person that does this so blah 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 so just make sure you go and follow me facebook.com slash a plus show and I'll come up with my beautiful smile and probably pictures of my nephew and make sure you follow me all right and until next time beauties bye